Just about a few weeks ago, one of the newly acquired kangaroos at the zoo died from what has been described as trauma related to the annual Independence Fireworks Display at the Queen's Park Savannah. This prompted administrators of the zoo to call for a ban on fireworks, saying the animals continue to be negatively impacted by the fireworks. While he didn't call for a total ban on fireworks, Hummingbird Gold Medal recipient John Sejagat had a suggestion to keep both animals and the fireworks lovers happy. It could be done, but it has to be done away from publicity. It has to be done away from uh, housing development, zoos and things like that, where animals will be impacted by the noise of these fireworks. So one of the ways to have fireworks and still not impact, not impact wildlife and exotic animals is to have it out on the ocean on a badge. In the past, it was suggested that the zoo be moved to another location, but Mr. Sejagat does not agree with that idea. Zoo depend on population. You have to have transient population, people coming and going, people needing to spend time and block and blocks of short hours. And a zoo is important for that. Without those people, without those people having to, we in other words, to kill time, somewhere to go while they go back to do business in the afternoon, they need to go to a zoo or a park or something like that. So the zoo is best located where it is. Mr. Sejagat has been actively contributing to wildlife conservation for decades. Ian Wason, TTT News.